hello it's povika some editing visuals here and let's begin all right guys so the first thing you want to do is press ctrl to y to make a new adjustment layer and now we want to cut up the adjustment layer to eight frames or whatever it is for you for me i'm editing in 24 frames per second this is my frame rate for you it might be different if you edit in different frame rate but this is just for 24 frames per second all right so if you want to cut an adjustment layer you can press ctrl shift d and then delete the other parts and then i'm gonna go 12 frames forward right here and i'm gonna press ctrl shift d and then delete this and here we have an eight frame adjustment layer all right guys the first effect we'll add is on sharp mask now let's make the radius to four uh, amount to zero at the start and then keyframe it just like that so it's going to be at the start like here now let's add exposure and let's make the exposure to just zero at the start like keyframe it like that and now let's add warp this is basically, this is the simple warp transition effect. So I'll make the bend to zero. I'm gonna keyframe it. And then it's important that you go to warp style and set it to fisheye. And the last effect I'll add is CC vignette and make the amount at the start to zero and keyframe it. All right, perfect guys. Now we need to go to the middle of this adjustment layer. But at first we can press U to see our keyframes right here. And now let's just go to the middle. So I think the middle is right here. Look at the timer here. So 304 and now it's 310. So yeah, that's basically the middle, of course. All right, at the middle, I like to make the CC Vignette amount to 188, bend to minus 100, exposure to 0 0.96, unsharp mask to 494. All right, perfect. And now let's go to the ending. And at the ending, just make everything here zero. Just this zero, this zero, this zero, and this zero. All right, we have made this very simple right now. What we can do now is press on this button, which will give us motion blur on the soul adjustment layer. And now look how this whole thing looks. As you can see, way too slow. We do not want it like that. So what we can do, select these keyframes right here and press F9. And now what we can do is press on one of the keyframes from CC Vignette and go to the graph editor. And for this graph, I like to make it like go in like that. And this one like in here as well, like to the middle, you know. And then this one, I'll make it like go like right there. This is the kind of the graph I like to have here. Now let's exit out of the graph and go to the warp graph. Now the warp graph is going to be pretty similar. So put this in here. But by the way, if this graph is not popping up, you have to go here and make it to edit's value graph, not the speed graph. And this one, let's make it go in here. Actually, maybe that's a bit too much. Yeah, like this. This one just really make it go like in like that. All right, the graph should look something like this, I guess. And now let's get out of here. And now let's go two frames back. And here I'm gonna make it flicker just a little bit. So I'm gonna make the exposure a bit different. So I'll make the exposure to 0 0.3. And I'm going to go one frame forward and make the exposure to minus 0 0.2. And I'm going to go two frames forward. And here I'm going to make also minus 0 0.2. And I'm going to go one frame forward and I'm going to make it 0 0.3. Now we can save this as a preset. So we can go to one of the effects, press Control A, hold Shift and select all of the keyframes right here. Go to animation, save animation preset. And here we can call it like simple warp transition and press save. Whenever you'll want to add it, you'll just need to make an adjustment layer and then go to effects and presets and just type simple warp transition and boom, just add it. And now if you want some colors on this, I really recommend to add some sort of an overlay. I would really recommend for you to check out our VHS pack where we have a bunch of very colorful glitch overlays, but they can also be used to make really nice looking colors. So we can actually press control I and here we can go to our VHS pack if you have it. I'm gonna go to VHS glitch overlays and from the new update that I released like a month ago, I think, I like to use the VHS overlay 81 and then add it. All right, and now look, it gives a lot of colors, but first we need to press S and then make the scale to 50. And now let's right click on it, go to blending mode, and here I like to make it color. Perfect, already gives a lot of color, but yeah, we can just find like a frame we want and we can cut it and just go to the ending and cut it as well by pressing Control Shift T. And in the middle, we can press T and keyframe the opacity. This is the middle right here. And then go to the start and I like to make the opacity here, not zero, but like 25. And at the ending, I like to make the opacity to 10. 
it will glitch a bit and it will also have this color. This is only one overlay. I messed around with a lot of them, with a lot of others, and they worked very well as well. And if you want glitches as well, this pack has a bunch of them, over 130 overlays. And this pack requires not a single plugin. There's also 25 presets in which you can just add instantly, like VHS effect. And then these are the new VHS presets, and, and these are the old ones. Like, And you can also get this pack bundled with my Damage TV presets pack. It's not a no plugins pack. It does require Sapphire, Signal, Universe, and Omino plugins. But the effects you can get with the pack are just usually way too good. And if you guys want both of these packs, you can get them bundled and save $20 off. But if you guys just want the VHS pack, I got you covered. I have a code POVICAS, which gives you $5 off. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. If you guys want more of these transition type of videos, please let me know. I really recommend to check out our editing visual website. And I'll see you guys. Just have a fun and productive day. See ya.